time. And we have kittens in the nice little hole that we need. They're doing so great. You might want to keep what like one layer of blankets. I know they're so cozy, but I'm not gonna interfere. No. Except that it would be nice if you had one blanket under you. <laughs> Actually, this one is the best one because it's nice and absorbent. So I think we're definitely having some contractions. Really love to get one more layer of towel under her or a blanket under her, but we'll see how things go. It'd be slightly easier to do it now than if she's in, getting down to it. So great, and you can have that close to be very cozy. We're having contractions. I know, baby. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. Do you want your poor clothes? And I'll just sit up here. Would that be better? And I will try to make this focus. Here you pushing. You're doing so great. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna try to focus that camera. Or does it distract you? Hmm? I think you want to focus on what you're doing. You're doing a good job. Such a good job. I'm very proud of you. This is the last time you ever have to do it. She likes her tiny little space there for now. It's so good. You're doing so good. I know. You're doing so good. 
Is that okay? Mini little biscuit. Gosh, you're so cute. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. I'm very proud of you. You're doing so good. Good pushes. You're doing good pushes. I know you're doing so good. I know this is so hard. Oh, such good pushes. You're doing such good pushes. Yeah, you can do this. One more time and you never have to do it again. You're doing great. Oh, you're doing so great. You're doing so great. Just trying to get organized, you know how it is. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. So much work. Oh, I know it's so hard. Oh, goodness. Oh, she stopped purring. So she's having, she's obviously in active labor now. Um, the first kitten is in the birth canal. You can see she's having very strong contractions close together. That's what we want to see happen. Um, the first kitten is the hardest, and um, and so um, usually we'll take the longest, and that's okay. Um, she seems to not mind having me here, and so that's good. Um, I can keep an eye on things and. out if she needs anything but she's done this before in her very young life oh good job good job and she will be spayed all of her kittens will be spayed and neutered so she'll never have to go through this again you're doing so great You are, you're doing so great. I wish I could help you. I know, do you want? Oh, I know, I know. You're doing so great. Oh, such good pushes. So far, everything's progressing normally. It was very thoughtful of her to do this during the day. 
and on a weekday when we have access to veterinary care. Oh, I know, baby. She's growling because it hurts. Um, and she may have something coming out there. I can't quite see from this angle, but I'm not going to interrupt her because she knows what she's doing. switch to the Nest audio, so let me know if that's, that, well actually don't let me know in chat. <laughs> One of the mods will let me know if that's better or worse. Oh, I think I hear a squeak. I hear a kitten trying to breathe. Wow, that was efficient. That was incredible. can't see, so I'm just gonna see if I can. Nope, can't see. We'll have to, I'm gonna wait because she seems like she has it under control. You're doing so great. I hear kitten squeaks. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. Whew, you guys. I didn't even have time to get like super anxious. I hear breathing sounds. I'm ready to help with drying if you want it, Mama. I can't see anything back there, but I do hear, I think she's working on possibly placenta. Oh my goodness, Slurpee. You're doing so great, Mama. Oh, I can see a little head. Is it a head or a bum? I can't tell. Dark colored. Wow, that was fast. There, I fixed the clock for everybody. You just jumped ahead three minutes. Good job, Mommy. You're doing so great. How are you doing? Can I take a look? We have breathing. <laughs> Here we go. I just heard some wetness some wetness in the breathing. But she looks like she's done a great job. Number one is out and alive and breathing. Oh, and I didn't bring the scale in here. I'm gonna go grab the kitten scale.
very quick. Hi mama, how are you doing? Good job, Mama. Tiny, vigorous little tabby. Oh, she's doing so great. Oh, you're doing so great, Mama. So great. And there's your baby. Already going for the milk bar. What a good mama. Oh, she's such a good mama. She knows just what to do. Looks like a very healthy kitten. You did so great. I'm so proud of you. We can take Fluffy out. You're doing so great. I'm so proud of you. Doing 
so great. I think she's having four kittens. Oh, you're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. What a little champ. Looks like a tabby. Little tabby. I have not yet looked at. Let's see if I can see. I need to, it's a little dark in there. Uh, placenta is still in, looks like, since we're getting a little ride. Unless you're, are you tangled in the, oh no, she's tangled in the, she tangled in the tail fur. There you go. <laughs> she got a little tail rug. So great, Mama. May I borrow this just real quick? Not very quick. 83. Okay, get in there. Get in there. Go get in there. Little. We like for them to be a hundred grams, but I will accept eighty-three. Firstborn, eighty-three grams. And I, I'm gonna have to get another look at the. At whether I think we have a girl or a boy there. stress the mama out. And they'll have to check her palate too. Is it her palate? Doing a very good job trying to find the milk bar. We like for them to latch as soon as possible after they're born because it helps us, it helps produce hormones that will stimulate contractions and stimulate milk production. I'm not super worried about her milk production because I have been able to feel her mammaries getting quite full in the last 36 hours. So I think she's got good milk.
up to warm my hands up. That's 83 is probably one of the reasons that um, that happens so quickly. When we get these gigantic kittens, it's harder to push them out, so. Are you doing such a good job trying to find your your milk bar. Do you want me to help you? You're so close. Are you gonna purr the whole time, Mama? Do you think I can look at this wall here? Oh. I'm perplexed. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I want to say girl, but... Now I'm just watching for a latch. She's very efficient with her placenta. You get the bath too, that's nice. There you go. She's close. Don't mean to help you get that. Get it. Jeez, get it. Well, I'll check I'll check your palette then real quick. Wait, that's great. There. Don't let's not worry mama too much. Oh what a good mama she is. Let me find you some milks. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. You wanna try this nipple? You're tolerating my interference very well. I'm gonna try this. is a good one. I'm gonna try this one. Or this one. So many. They're pretty big. What do you think? Would you like that one, kind of? She still has like a little bit of a crusty outer skin on there. You're being so good. You're being so good. There's milk at that last one. You did so great. Here, try this one. There's milk on it for you.
There you go. There you go. Get it. Get it. <laughs> oh, you're so pretty. Oh, there's a good blob right there. Kittens navigate by smell. So I'm, I can squeeze out a little bit of the colostrum and that will help her figure out. There we go. Oh, you're so close. You can do it. You're so close. It's a melting cat. You're so close. <laughs> She'll get it eventually. Oh, good job. You're doing so great. I'm going the wrong way. Let me help you. Oh, there's a big rock. Look. Oh, yeah. See? A big drop of milk. We're so close. You we were so close. Are you pushing me again? Is it time to push? Palette looks good. Did I say that out loud? So uh, for everyone who's tuning in, this is Fifi. She is a, a rescue cat. She was surrendered um, because her first family had to move out of the country and couldn't take her. And then um, the second that they um, gave her to a friend and then the friend had to move and wasn't able to find pet friendly housing. and also wasn't aware she was pregnant at, at the time they took her and um, so they were concerned and wanted to make sure that um, she and the babies were safe and so um, we ended up with her she's super sweet she's only about eight she's a little over a year old she's had kittens before um, this is the last time she will give birth, which is great. She and the kittens will all be spayed and neutered. And everything is progressing really well so far. 
the first kitten came out very quickly. She's <laughs> she's very uh, interested in the umbilical. Still there. to help clean up the stump real quick. There we go. There. Now you don't have to worry about it. You were so close over here, but here. There. Look. Mm. Yeah, you got this. You were so close. Do you want some more friends? Okay. Should we try one of these ones? Her milk is in, so that's good. It just takes a little bit of time for them to figure out. And there's also kind of like a thicker skin on the outside of the nipple that sometimes needs to be groomed off. But uh, I have confirmed now three of the nipples have milk, so I, I'm assuming she's she's got her colostrum in, and it will just be a question of getting connected, which um, she has a good suck reflex, good palate. Make sure the heating pad is keeping it warm. <laughs> What a cute kitten. You're far, far away from where you need to be. There you go. Doing so great, Mama. Doing so great. She has really good instincts.
feline uterus has two horns and each kitten will uh, have its own sac and its own placenta and each sac is formed up uh, along uh, one horn or the other so usually uh, the kittens will come out one side of one horn and then the other horn and kind of alternate. It's totally normal for there to be longer pauses in between kittens um, or for them to come out pretty close to each other. Um, Are you chewing on that umbilical cord again, Mama? your umbilical cord. Should we try this one? This one's good. It's good. Milk and Here we go. We have our first latch. Have a little air. Yay! She goes. So nursing is really beneficial. It will help stimulate all of those good contraction hormones. Don't get too excited there. <laughs> good job, Mama. You're doing so great. I'm very proud of you. I know this is very hard. such a great job. Yay for a first match. I'm going to close this.
four kittens, possibly five, but I think four. Oh, it looks like she's really holding on. Got a good latch there. So we like for them to be 100 grams or higher when they're born um, because under 100 grams um, there's more risk of, of um, them not surviving, but 83 is pretty decent. It's not terrible. And she's quite vigorous so far and getting a good latch. so. Um, and Fifi has great instincts, and Fifi's healthy. She wasn't a big eater, so I'm guessing that's why we have maybe some lower birth weights, um, just because she um, didn't eat as much as other cats, and she also wasn't getting um, proper pregnancy nutrition. Um, and she's only been here a few days, so we haven't had that much time to fatten her up. So, um, but we 83 is good. We can work with 83. <laughs> the placenta, um, I'm pretty sure, has been consumed. I could hear what sounded like placenta. I didn't see anything. Um, but I could hear lots of squishy eating sounds. Look at her, she's still on. That's always an encouraging sign. You're doing so good, Mama. You're doing so good. I'm going to refer to the kitten as a she, but we'll have to double check. Doing great. So far everything's going probably the one of the best, one of the smoothest deliveries so far that we've had. And during the day, it's so nice of her. What a good girl. She's so beautiful. She's so sweet. So talented. So smart. Oh yeah, such a good girl. Such a good girl. So I did say, I did say about a week when she came here, I said a week, maybe two, and that was eight days ago. Right, that was pretty close for once. For once, okay, are we getting ready to start pushing again? Very impressed with our little latcher there. She's really got a good latch going. 
breathing looks good. You're doing so great, Mama. Yeah, you're doing so great. A uh, little tabby. So um, Fifi's a dilute tabby. A di well, she's her color is dilute black, so it's gray. Um, I think this kitten is a, a regular tab, non-dilute tabby. But it looks like classic tabby pattern. You doing so good. How's everything going down here? You're making little biscuits. That's nice. That's nice. You're doing so great. You're nice and warm here. We are. I don't know if she's falling asleep, but she probably got a good meal. Should we move you a little closer? Stay nice and warm. I'll cover you with some fluff. to focus. Do you think I can take this out? Would you be okay with that? So good. You are. Do you want some privacy? You've got everything under control in there. Do you want a little snack? Do you like a non placenta palate cleanser? Thanks everybody who's tuning in and watching the miracle of birth, as they say. This is a great way to get to watch it with your kids or yourselves, and then you can get your own pet spayed and neutered. 
but still get to experience the miracle of birth right here live. And if you love having kittens around, contact your local rescue or shelter and ask about becoming a foster parent because there are so many cats and kittens in need of fostering and you can help save lives that way instead of letting your own cats have kittens which is just contributing to the problem She was so fast with number one, and now she's had a little break for number two. Which is good, that means less time in the birth canal. Less risk of hypoxia, which is uh, oxygen deprivation, which can sometimes happen during birth. You're doing so great. You're doing so great. Do you like your snack? You done with snack time? Your way. Okay, you can have more. Adoptions have been really slow lately for all shelters and rescues. So if you've been thinking about adopting, now is a great time. We have quite a few special adult cats waiting for homes. And of course Fifi and her babies will be available eventually, once they're all spayed and neutered. She does look like a little panther on the camera, but she is a, just a dark tabby. So if you're seeing lighter colors on her toes, and when you see her face, you'll see she's got the eyeliner and the markings of a tabby. But she did not inherit the dilute color from her mama. She inherited the color, but not the dilute gene. And we won't know till around three weeks if they're going to be floofy kittens like their mama. Usually it takes about that long for them to start sprouting their floof. Baby number one's getting lots of one-on-one -on -one mama time while we wait. You're doing so great, mama. You are, you're doing so great.
We like for kittens to be uh, 100 grams when they're born um, because that gives them the best chances of survival. Um, so we're not quite there at 83 grams, but um, 83 is still pretty good. We can definitely work with 83. Um, I see a question, does that make number one more likely to be a female? I think in reference to what I was saying about colors. Um, no, not necessarily. Um, we don't know what color dad was. Um, so if we get any kittens that are calico or torty, so they have ginger and black, then we will know that that kitten's dad was ginger. Um, but, um, so girl kittens get one color from mom and one from dad, so, um, if she's a girl, she then her dad was, was, his base color was black also. Boys only get their color from their mom. So any boys in this bunch will be either gray or black with or without a tabby pattern or, you know, with or without white parts. But girls can be pretty much anything, depending on what dad is. We could get a dilute floofy torby. Yep, we could. She's still in labor, definitely. Just takes a little time. Sometimes when you don't count here. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. Yes, you are doing so good. Taking a little break. Bigger and kittens would have been the cutest kittens of all time. That is very true. Are you back to your pushing corner? He's so beautiful. Let's see if we get another latch. Good position for it. Once they nurse, um, they will often tend to pick a favorite nipple or two and go back to that nipple when they're hungry. Did 
she's looking around for a different one. Any latching at this point would be helpful. It will help stimulate the hormones for contractions and um, also milk production, which I think we're going to be okay, hopefully. Um, so and even if we're not seeing hard pushes happening now, her body is still contracting. She's still having contractions and she's positioning um, the next kitten so that it can uh, enter the birth canal. So sometimes they have to, they have a little bit of distance that they need to go. Do you want this over there? Right. It's warm over there. brothers and sisters right here. one right here. I'm doing great. Do you want some more snacks? Oh, are we going for a are we going for a little walk? Walking off our restlessness. Do you want that? I'll take it out if it's a bother. Trying to keep it warm and not drafty in there. So I don't have the doors open. It's been an hour since number one was born. Kittens get squished all the time. It keeps them nice and warm. And they will squeak and wheel out if it gets if they get too squished. Right now she's just squished under mammaries. She's being squished by mammaries. <laughs> We're doing so great.
there's a rowdy sibling right here. This one's not coming out next. Got one coming up this way. There's contractions. There we go. There we go. Good. Good job, kitten number one. You stimulated some good contractions. Look, and she's latching again. You can tell if she's latched on a tuft of fluff. Yeah, I don't think it's a nipple. Good job, Mama. You're doing some great. strong contractions. Oh, I know it's so hard. The purring has stopped. That means we're getting close. You got this, Mama. You got this. You're so close. Do you love your baby so much already? So great. I'm very proud of you. Very proud. You 
you're so close and then you never have to do this again. Such a good job of all the other areas too. Very soon. Yeah, good job. Good job. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. So good. You are. Can't be done so soon. job. Good pushing. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, you're doing so great. So great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, such hard work. It's a very cute baby. She's giving, giving her a look. Good job. That's nice. Oh, good job. Good job, Mama. Oh, so hard. You're doing so great. So great. You got Oh, you got them. You're so close. 
you're going to be halfway over with your last time trying to do it. Yeah, you're so close. You just need a few more little pushes. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you're so good at this. I know. Glad you never have to do it again, though. It's very hard. It's very hard. We want your biological mandate to be laying in the sun, eating snacks, and snuggling with your human. That's all you should have to worry about. I'm doing great. You're doing so great. You are you're going to wait so close. I know. We're so close. Don't get up, you look comfy. You look very comfy. Yeah. You're doing so great. more big pushes. Mm, I know, it's so hard. You're doing so great, Mama. You got this. Oh, you're trying. I, there we go. Right there we go. You got this. I know. Just keep pushing. You're almost there. I know. I know. There you go. You got it. You got it. One more big push. We're almost out. Saw a sack. That's very cute. I think she got it.
Good job, Mama. Good job. Oh, we have a face. Another little tabby. Good job, Mama. You're doing great, Mama. So great. There's so much fluff. This way, you should be out breathing. There's a placenta. There we go. There we go. Breathing going. We've got a placenta out. Let me just help you with the mouth and nose there a little bit there. Perfect. Perfect. There's the placenta. If you guys want to see what that looks like. Looks like we have two little twinsies so far. She's cutting the cord. Oh, noisy number one. There, you got it. Can I have this? Thank you. They don't need to eat placentas these days. And it can give them diarrhea, which she already has, so. If given the opportunity, I will. I will steal a placenta and give her the option of having some good nutrition.
she is, she likes to chew on the placenta ends, that's for sure. for a tiny way in once she's done. I think this I think number two is a bit bigger. job mama you're doing so great you're doing so great look what you've done so much purring Alright, number two is looking for milk bar. That's very good. Just making sure the heat pad is working. Good job, Mama. You're doing so great. You're doing so great. Are you proud of yourself? You should be. You should be. Can I treat you a snack? Nope. No snack. Thank you so much to everyone who's donating. That's we run solely based on donations and we live stream everything we do 24 seven so that you guys can see where your donations are going. And um, we couldn't do this without you. So we really, really appreciate um, your support. It means a lot to us and to the cats that we help. Our vet costs went up 75% last year, which is a lot. Um, and part of that is because we've taken um, medically complicated cats, cats who wouldn't get a chance anywhere else. And so uh, their care costs more and uh, veterinary costs have gone up significantly since COVID because of all the supply chain issues and now we have a, a staffing shortage that's, that's quite problematic within the veterinary industry. And as all of you have seen, prices are just going up everywhere. So. Um, We need, we need you guys to, in, in order to keep doing what we're doing. And we hope that by letting you watch everything that we do, um, 106 
excellent, excellent. We hope by letting you watch everything that you'll understand how much we care and how hard we try and um, and you'll know that your money is being used perfect palette in a way you intend for it to be used. And what do we got back here? Oh, girl parts. For sure, this one's a girl. Number two, 106 girl. That's exciting. And perfect palette. so great mama um, YouTube does take a cut of donations that you make through the chat um, and if you'd like to avoid that you could go to tinykittens.com slash donate and donate directly there but we also um, welcome everybody to watch without donating because I know that um, times are tough right now and there's absolutely no pressure um, we are absolutely so grateful when we do get donations, but we also appreciate support that you guys give in other ways. Just being compassionate and being advocates for spaying and neutering, um, we can have such an impact collectively and make a huge difference. And because people watch us from all over the world, um, we hear from we hear from you guys every day about the amazing work that you're doing in your own neighborhoods and that makes us very happy so don't be obsessed with this umbilical situation I can clean it up for you a little bit later how about would you like that should we help oh should we have a nice should we have a little latch oh we're so close look so much milk, oh my goodness. Oh, that's a good latch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the milk is flowing now. We have latch, a successful number two latch. Let's get number one back on something. Now that it's like easier. Oh yeah, there we go. How do you feel about this one? like it, don't you? There you go. Getting the kittens latched is super helpful in um, stimulating her body to produce hormones uh, that will help with contractions and milk production and bonding, all the good hormones. So. Um, nursing is an important way to stimulate that, so it's really nice when the kittens get latched quickly and easily like this, and when the milk has come in. I feel your sibling. One of the siblings is right here between my fingers. You can see the difference in size there. you better let's see I think I can zoom in a bit there we go. so you guys will be able to watch these guys from birth until the time they're adopted um, right here at this YouTube URL um, So you get to see them grow up. They're going to be very cute. We most often work with feral cats, so it's not very often that we get friendly mamas who are socialized and want us to be around. So it's very nice when we do. Look at them. They're doing so 
well with their latching. I'm very proud of them. Oh, we've got number three on the way already. On the way already. Oh, Mama, you got this. You're doing so great. <laughs> Little spotted feet. That's very cute. Don't often see that. Very cute. You're doing great, Mama. You're doing very great. So we're expecting four kittens total. Possibly five. gas up here and then down here we have a kitten we have a kitten right here but that's not the one this one's not in the birth canal yet so the one she's she has one in the birth canal but she's pushing now and at least one more on deck. And she's doing so great. You're doing so great. I know it's such hard work. Such hard work. She looks tired. Oh, you're doing so good. Good pushing. Oh, it's okay. It happens to everybody. We've had kittens born in a flood of diarrhea. We've had many kittens born with a toot. We've had kittens born with tapeworm diarrhea. When we get the mamas, when they're close to giving birth, we don't have the time to get them get their parasites all under control and get their nutrition balanced and all that stuff. So we've seen it all. Seven inch tapeworm escorted a kitten out into the world once. That was a very delicate toot. A very a very civilized little tiny toot.
and you know it was cute oh you're doing so great oh she looks tired so much work so hard so hard I wish I could make it easier a little blanket in case you oh shoot look at, look at little number one there retaining her latch big time you're doing so great you're doing so great and your babies are so cute they're so cute you're going the wrong way you need to stay warm with your mama and that's a big kitten that's good i think our biggest kitten was 130 some grams at birth that's big kitten and our smallest was 62 look we already have wappy paws oh and nipple stealing little monster let me help you there's more look this one's really good and I don't think anyone's had this one yet let me get it started for you this one's in the fluff though there I'm gonna move that a little bit maybe you oh, the fluff gets in the way let me help there now try there's more at the caudal nipples Number two is a little nipple thief. Oh, Mom is having some contractions. You're doing so good. You're so close. Oh, good job. Just a few more big pushes. You got this. You got this. I see kitten sack. Yep. Oh, you're so close. Keep going. Oh, there we go. And we're out. Good job, Mama. Look at that. Beautiful. How about if I help you a little bit there? Let's get that open. Let's come out into the world. Oh, you look a little bit blue. Let's get you going. Come on now. There we go. Our color's a little bit. A little bit on the blue side, but we can fix it. A little bit of, a little bit of hypoxia, maybe it's okay though. There you go, there you go, hi, hi, there you go, you're doing so good. You're a good size too, aren't you? You're gonna have little triplets. Okay, good job, you're doing so good. All right, you're doing good there. I'm getting a little bit of pink there. That's what we want. We want pink, not gray or blue. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. Good job. Good 
Good job. You got this. You got this. Let's get some action in there. There we go. All right. We are breathing. The center is still in, so. There you go. There you go. There you go, that's good. You would just worry about your placenta contractions. I got this. You're doing great. You're doing great. Good job, Mama. You're doing great, too. Good job, you're doing good. I know, getting bored is hard. <clears throat> Looking better now. There was a little oxygen deprivation on that one. Um, a little bit of delayed breathing there too, but I think we're good now. Sometimes it takes us uh, 30 minutes. We give them 30 minutes to start breathing. I mean, obviously we're working on them the whole time, but we sometimes Sometimes even after 30 minutes of not breathing on their own, we can still get them going, particularly after a C-section. It takes longer to get them, get them going, but um, I, think we're, I think we're in pretty good shape. It's starting to look for a nipple. That's good. Let me help dry you off a little bit. 
the vigorous rubbing helps to stimulate their circulation and get them dry, which is very important. Especially when they have a little bit of a slow start. Now we're just waiting on the placenta to come out. And then number three will be free to hit the milk bar. I can check weight. I think we have a pretty substantial weight here though. This looks like a good sized kitten. Don't put your foot back in there. That's where the eating zone is. Whew. all doing so great. Everyone in chat is doing so great too. And the mods of course are doing so great. Whew. All right, hopefully we're 75% done. Not counting placenta in progress or in progress placenta. So um, Fifi's blood type is AB, which is quite rare. Um, and we blood type all of our pregnant mamas um, so that we can rule out or prepare for neonatal isoerythrolysis, which is essentially a fatal um, condition where if the mom has type B blood, and her kittens are type A. Need to push. There's a placenta. There it is. Good job. Good job. There you go. You do the cord. I'll handle the placenta. Um. So. Um. We can. We can be prepared if if we have a type B mama. We have to blood type each kitten as they're born. Sorry, moving the feet. And then um, kittens that are type B can stay with mom and nurse no problem, and it's safe. But if a kitten is type A, um, the mom will pass anti A antibodies through her colostrum to the kitten and those antibodies will be absorbed directly into the kitten's bloodstream and will uh, attack and kill the red blood cells that are type A. So um, it's important to test the blood type of the pregnant mamas and um, that is some extreme placenta chewing. If you're disconnected, I can oh, you're still working on the cord. Do you want me to do that for you? I'm letting you do it because, but you don't have, she's like, she's doing the cord from like, like through the placenta. Oh my gosh, everyone's getting placenta blood on them. Here, keep your, you don't need that right now. I'm gonna, there, do we have it? Okay, I'll, can I have? Oh, at least we're still connected. The cord is still completely connected. That's okay, though. She'll get to it. It's a very, it's a very chewy placenta. Sometimes we get really squishy, fluid-filled Placentas. Anyway, I was talking about neonatal isoerythrolysis, and I'm not sure where I left off because I got distracted by the really involved placenta situation. Did you get the... Oh, good. Okay. Oh my gosh. Here. Can I have that? You don't need to eat all that.
the placenta can cause diarrhea if they eat it. It's not bad if they eat it, it's, but it can cause diarrhea. And she already has some poo issues, so. Um, she doesn't need to eat that stuff. Um, anyway, so she's our first type AB cat, which type B is supposed to be rare, but we've had quite a, a lot of type B in our pregnant cats. So um, blood typing those has saved many, many kittens. Um, like if you're a, if you're a foster or a rescuer and um, you've ever had a litter that most or all of the kittens have just faded over the first week and you can't figure out why, um, often it's it's neonatal isoerythrolysis. I think more than, it happens a lot more than um, the, more than research shows, more than vets know. Um, so anyway, we blood type, she's type AB, which is rare, but safe for the kittens because she is not passing along um, antibodies that will Um, attack and kill their red blood cells. So um, that's why I'm not blood typing them as they're born. But we are we will blood type them um, when they have their spays and neuters because we have had so many situations in the past couple of years since we started blood typing where the the feline blood bank has not had blood and we've needed it. And, oh my goodness, you tipped over. Oh no, you're so far away now. Oh, I should have just taken you and waved you. I, I was too distracted by how cute everything was. Mm. I do feel like I spend a lot of my time waiting for a placenta. Can I steal this before, before we have a good latch going on? Let me just make sure. Oh, 110. All right. So that is a good weight. Boy. And can I see your palette? <gasps> palette perfection. Okay, back to it. Good job. All right. So number three is a boy. Great weight. Three little classic tabbies, non-dilute. So they'll be, where Fifi is gray, they'll be black. Very good weights, very good latching. Oh, here's a like, big, can you smell that? That's the one you want right there. There you go. Don't sing on it. You fell off to the left. You're close. You're so close. You were going the wrong way. There you go. There you go. There. Oh, so close. <laughs> You're like NASCAR. You like to turn left. There you go. You're getting it. There you go. Ah, we've got latch. We have latch, everybody. There's a top view. <laughs> That's a good latch. You're doing great, Mama. You're so tired. Her little face looks so tired. All right, here's number four. Wow. 
Why are you so far away? You'll learn that I'm always right about the milk bar. <laughs> Not in general. <laughs> I get that stance. Do you want your feet closer? I help you. There you go. Keep them warm under there. And I think we have. I think we have possibly, I'm not sure if number one is napping or nursing on the lower nipple, but they're looking good. So her body is having less visible contractions, getting the fourth kitten lined up for the birth canal. So this whole time she's, she's her body's working very hard. Do you need some nutrition? Come closer. No, oh, she's so tired. Do you need to be sitting in hand fed? Like a lady? Like a princess? Is that better? I get it. Oops, the harder for you to eat though, like this. Yeah, you have to take little bites, otherwise it's gonna just go everywhere. Okay, there you go, you got it. You got it. Oops, we spilled a little bit right here though. Mm-hmm. There you go. You want to do it for yourself now? I added some nice gravy for you. You're doing so good. You look so tired. Oh my goodness. Look how good they're doing though. I think number two has fallen asleep on the nipple. Oh. No, he's just like comfort nursing while he sleeps. <laughs> Good job, Mama. Good job. You're doing great. You're doing great.
You're doing so great, Mama. How are you doing, number one? Oh, number one's just having a little nap. Number one had a good a good milk bar session before number two was born. Ooh. Ooh, baby. We are expecting four, but I still haven't seen the actual x-rays. I've only got a picture of the x-rays, so. And I think I saw four on the ultrasound, but. Ultrasound is hard for counting, but good for looking at hearts and, you know, spines and structures, things like that. Harlot's gonna help you. You gotta catch up with your little siblings there. Oh, you know, you need to move this so it gets not, appear, not in your face unless you want more. There you go, you got it. And there we go, a little armpit nipple. These kittens have grown up with so much purring in their lives. I wonder if that makes a difference. I don't know if that one's producing much yet. Do you only have two nipples on this side? In this area, the easy to reach ones. Let's see if we've got. I think I got some. Oh, yeah, there's milk. There's milk. There you go. See? There you go. They operate by smell and instinct, so if you can prime the nipple a little bit with some milk, that usually helps them get latched. Now I'm trapped. Can I slide out my hand? There you go, perfect. That's an enthusiastic latch right there. And then let it go. You got it? There you go, good. Good, good, good. Okay. There we go, three latched kittens. Little frog legs up there. There you go, perfect. Do you have enough to eat? Oh, here's a head right here. Oh yeah, we're definitely moving. We're definitely moving. Three little latched kittens. So cute. Look how little number one is. Look, I'll show you the top view. Tiny, big, big. They are very well behaved. It's so much easier micromanaging the milk bar on a cat that doesn't mind it. I. I don't do it with the ferals unless they need it, but they they don't want me in there, and so they're always kind of curled up, and it's very difficult to have nipple access like this. So I'm enjoying it while I can. It's nice to have three latched kittens. It's a big indicator of how they're doing, whether they are able to 
of enthusiastic sustained latching. So they're all doing great in that regard. She's got lots of milk, I think. So they're getting all all of that really good colostrum right now with antibodies and will help protect them. Yes, the clippers definitely help because all that fluff is hard to navigate through to find a nipple when you can't see and you don't have opposable thumbs. Everybody's breathing so nicely. I'm gonna fluff your hair a little bit to help you get dry so you stay nice and warm. Now, let's see, how are we going to tell, oh, okay, we have boy and girl, so I can tell all of them apart so far, because of size and gender, and then we'll figure out, once they're dry, we'll be able to see markings, but I think their markings are going to be pretty similar, it looks like. I think we're going to have some glorious polka dotted bellies, potentially. So thanks to everybody who's tuning in. It's such a relief to have three of them out and healthy and to have it happening during the day for once is so nice. And that so far things are going so well. I'm not going to jinx it, but we've had a lot of rough deliveries. So I'm always anxious very anxious until everyone's out and safe and then we watch them very very closely for the first week because that's that's the most vulnerable period and then by the time they hit two weeks we're usually past the range of when we th see things happen from congenital issues like heart defects Usually that will present itself in the first week, possibly two weeks, but usually in the first week. So once we hit two weeks, we're usually, we feel pretty good. I know some people just, their cats have kittens and they don't intervene at all. And, There's no, not a lot of anxiety, but for me, I bring the anxiety. <laughs> but now I feel relieved because they're doing so well. We are going with a skunk theme for their names because um, of Fifi's glorious skunk tail. Her tail is like a skunk because she, when it's straight up and it's very, it's like a plume. It's very beautiful. Listen to that purr. Can you imagine when we have all the kittens at the milk bar? The purring, what the purring is going to sound like. If they inherited her excellent purr. Definitely feeling the relief.
you're doing so great. Do you want some more snacks? Do you want some more snacks for you? Yeah, good. It's good to keep your energy up. This is very hard work and when they're born in the wild or outside they have to go through all of this labor and delivery and then they have to leave their newborn kittens and go hunt and find food and kittens at this age are so susceptible to cold and predators only 25% of them end up surviving when they're born outside so we can prevent a lot of suffering by spaying and neutering. So first kitten was born at 2.40 and it's about 5 o'clock our time. That's still very, and I think she started around, what was it, 2.10? 2.15? So this is going very quickly. I'm glad she's eating. They burn a lot of calories, it's a lot of hard work. Even though you don't see her having hard contractions right now, she is still having contractions um, to get that kitten, the next kitten lined up with, and into the birth canal. And um, also producing milk burns a lot of calories. You can just see it on her little face, how tired she is. So I'm glad to see her eating. There's water added to that food to help her stay hydrated. Oh. Good job, Mama. You're doing so great. Put this back in the bowl. One less thing you have to clean off of yourself. Here, should I fluff this for you? It and add some more liquid for you. Keep you nice and hydrated. There you go. So we're hoping. We're hoping that there are only four. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. And the babies are doing so good too. Such good little latchers. She's got a 50 yard stare going on right now. Does that mean we're getting close? Oh, you did a good job. I think we're gonna get we're getting pretty close. This is one of the most orderly milk bars we've had, I think. Fluff is tickling you in your face. The fluff is 
tickling. Take this away. Do I need any more? I think she's focusing on something. It is totally normal to have space between kittens. In fact, some it's usually much longer. This process usually takes many hours. had 16 hour labors, we've had interrupted labor where they give birth to a couple kittens and then finish up the next day. Sometimes they're fast, sometimes they start fast and then as they become exhausted then they aren't able to push as much. Usually if the first kitten makes it out um, we we don't need to worry nearly as much about needing a C-section. It's usually the first kitten that would trigger a C-section. Not always, though. We only do C-sections as a last resort because it's it's very hard on mom and on the kittens kittens get the sedation drugs and the anesthesia as well so the longer they're in there waiting to be taken out during surgery the harder it is to get them revived but Mountain View is amazing with a c-section they get them out so fast and we've had some really good success but we don't like to do it unless it's absolutely necessary it is risky, but it's less risky than, than, I mean, when they need one, they need one. If they don't get it, then they can die, so we monitor for that very carefully, but she's doing great, so I'm pretty confident, hopefully, that there will be nothing that goes wrong at this point. She seems like she has enough energy to push. She's grooming. She's purring. She seems pretty happy. She's eaten. So however long her body needs to rest and to get that fourth kitten to the canal is okay. So much purring. Dave's going to be so sad that he missed it. If she waits another hour and a half, then he might make it in time for the last one. I think I get exhausted, Sym sympathy exhaustion, even though I've done no none of the work. I still feel like I could use a nap after this. 
she will have earned a big one. Oh, you're doing so great, Mama. You want some more snacks since you seem like you're alert and focused and there you go. There's some good gravy for you. Yeah, that's good. Is that enough? She's a flicker. There's food flying everywhere. You leave it there. You can alternate between kittens and snacks. If you want. of a grazer like me. <clears throat> I'm very happy this did not happen overnight for sure. It's comforting to know that I have vets awake and available hopefully at least during the day during a weekday during the day it seems like we have so many births on like a Saturday night or like a Sunday night when it's really crowded at the emergency clinics and like I said earlier we have a major staffing crisis in the veterinary field, so. It's sometimes tough to get veterinary care in the after hours. So, having it during the day is a huge relief. Oh, are you so exhausted you fell off your nipple? They're all looking really good so far. Really good. I think number three is sleeping too. I think we have all fallen asleep on the job. But we have very good breathing and a nice tail blanket. You look like you've gained weight already. She's gained two grams already. <laughs> very impressive. That's very impressive. <sighs> Thank you so much to those of you who are donating. It's, your generosity is the reason we're able to do this. And we really, really appreciate it. You can look on our other live stream and see some of our other cats that we have. We have quite a few right now who need special homes. Um, I think the other, the other stream is on um, Cookie and Candy 
who are two feral panthers who um, came in when Candy was pregnant and um, Cookie's the baby daddy and all the kittens have been adopted but mom and dad still need a home and they're if you switch over there you can see how cute they are they've come so far they're sweet and gentle and playful and so they love each other so much they're super bonded to each other so we're looking for a home for them together um, they're spayed and neutered obviously healthy and so cute but they've been waiting quite a while for the perfect home. <laughs> Look at Candy being so ferocious. She looks so cute. So anyway, um, tinykittens.com slash live will take you to our channel page anytime you want to see what's playing. And um, tinykittens.com slash adopt. If you want to apply for anyone, we have quite a few really special adult cats that need homes and of course these guys will need homes too once they're old enough and spayed and neutered do we see how you're doing since you've unplugged well you've got a handful of mama's fluff <laughs> 112 Good job. So we have a two gram gain there too. So two and three are, have it figured out. I'll check number one when she gets, she's kind of at the bottom of the pile in the armpit right now. So beautiful. You're doing so great, Mama. You latched. I think you are. Number one has got a good latch. A nap latch. She's napping and latched. Mama needs to recharge a little bit before getting on with the next one. It's good she has a little bit of food to give her energy. She seems happy. Doing so great, Mama. So great.
Catherine said, because of Puff Puff, I can't watch the placenta eating. I have the same reaction to that. For, if, for those of you that don't know, um, one of the cats that we brought, well, kittens that we brought in was a nine-week-old two-legged kitten named Cassidy. And he is, his mama accidentally chewed his legs, both of his back legs, off when he was born, when she was trying to do the placenta. That's what we think happened. Um, and he survived in the wild for nine weeks without his, his back legs. And um, then um, by the time one of our property owners found found him uh, and and called me and <clears throat> and he was so sick he had just horrible infections and was not doing well he had almost starved but um he's doing great today that was seven years ago if you can believe it i can't but every since then every time we get that placenta eating vigorous cord chewing. I am a little nervous. It doesn't happen very often, but it does definitely happen sometimes. And oh, here we go. Here we go. Is it time? Is it time for number four? Anyway, Cassidy, aka Puff Puff, is doing amazing now. He doesn't know he's any different from any of the other cats. He gets around, he, he gets around as well as the other cats. He climbs anything. And he's wonderful. So, if we give them a chance, we get to see some pretty remarkable things. So number four on the way. Hopefully the last, this is the last kitten. Hopefully this is the last kitten that she will ever give birth to. She, this is not her first litter. Um, she's, she's a little over a year old and has clearly given birth before. In fact, we know that the people who brought her in um, said that she's had kittens before. I don't think they knew how many, if she's had more than one litter previously, but um, her nipples definitely have been used before. they can get pregnant as early as four months old. So we recommend spay neuter. We do um, pediatric spays and neuters before they're adopted out. So minimum of eight weeks old and 2.2 pounds or one kilogram in weight. Usually we're more like 10 weeks old when we do ours, but um, the recovery time is so easy and quick and the time under anesthesia is, is so low and as they get older the recovery becomes more difficult and if you wait longer than four months you are risking pregnancy and if you wait longer than that then your risk of cancer goes way way up
so we're very happy when we get to spay and neuter kittens before they've gone into heat or gotten pregnant because their lives are so much easier, so much better. We've had several mama cats now who we've brought in who have been older, like six years old, five years old, and just have been pregnant over and over and over again. If you think about, they have about three litters a year. Even if, even if we only count one litter for the first year, and then three for the rest of the years. A six-year-old cat will have had 50, 16 litters of kittens. 16 litters. That's going through this 16 times. And that is hard on the body. And so those cats that come in have lots of health problems. They have, usually need dental surgery. And some of them have gotten mammary cancer also. So, lots of great reasons to stay and neuter. Look at her so proudly holding her babies. That's very cute. Three squirmy little butts. They're so cute. There's no nipples up there, you guys. They're very beautiful. They're doing so good. So, so good. Got this, Mama. You're doing so great. I think we're, I think we're getting into the birth canal now. <sighs> You're so beautiful. You're doing so great. Doing so great. This is the end of the kitten right here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's really hard. Right here is the end.
but you can see they're about this long. So that's about right. You got this, Mama. Your kittens are being so well behaved over there. This is very orderly. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to it. And the four hours of purring. Wait, five, five, three, two. It's only been three hours. Only three hours. I need to hydrate myself. Yeah, the uteruses also, that's a good point, are in, we've seen some horrendous uteruses, uteri, uteruses, very friable tissue, it just falls apart, which means they are at very high risk of uterine rupture during pregnancy or birth. We've had cysts, we've had all sorts of issues with uteruses. The longer, the more times they're used. He's doing so great. I'm so proud of you. You look so tired, but you can do this. You get through this one more kitten and then you never have to do it again. Unless there's one more in there, then you have to do it only once more. And then that's it. I know. And look at your handiwork already. You've done such a great job. They're very rowdy. I knew, I told you they were going to be rambunctious, didn't I? They were very active in the last week. <laughs> I would be very surprised if a vibrant orange kitten comes out. <laughs> I don't think it would be possible, unfortunately. But it does seem like, it does seem uh, plausible that baby daddy is the same for the first three. Not guaranteed, but plausible. Yeah. I'm definitely going to put collars on them. <clears throat> so that we can tell them apart, make sure that everyone's nursing. It's very important to, I can tell them apart currently because of weights and genders, but as their weights change, that won't be a reliable way. And it also makes it difficult to monitor because we do a lot of monitoring with the cameras to make sure that everybody's nursing and latching and we like them to clump together when mom's not in the nest. If we see one that's kind of straggling off, that's a red flag. So we monitor on the cameras. So if we, they're, I would be hard pressed to tell them apart looking over the camera without a collar, without collars. So I will be putting collars on them. This, here's a fluorescent yellow one. That's fun. And we're going to have to use that one for sure. The new color, the new fall line of kitten collars. And like this one, and we should have a blue one, I guess, and then I guess we need a green one. Oh, 
or do we need orange? I mean, we always have a green color. <coughs> <coughs> Or do we do this? Maybe we do this. This blue. That's better. Oh. And we will we'll call this fluorescent yellow one green the green color. Oh, you're doing so great, Mama. So great. You're doing so great. You're almost done. Just making sure that it's warm on that side. Oh, you're doing so great. I'm getting close. I'm very proud of you. You're doing so good. I'm going to open this door. You don't have to move too much. You can spread out your feet a little bit if you want to. You're doing so great. So nice that you don't get nervous when I open the doors up. I wish I had thought to put my my back brace on before I came down here. <laughs> Although that's nothing compared to what you're doing. There's no such thing as a pregnancy brace. Good job, you're doing so great. You're so close. You're on the you're on the edge of glory. You got this, mama. You got this. Yep. Let's get her 
ぶつけれたらな。いや。いや、ぶつけたらすごく上やった。もう、get to nice dry blanket。nice clean blanket。you can have some more snacks。and then you can have a nice nap。a nice rest。which you will have earned。oh、I see、I see sack。Very close. We just need a few more good pushes. Come on, Mama. You got this. Let's get that kitten out. You got this. Next round of pushes we're going to have a kitten. Right, Mama? That's right. Siblings get in there and nurse. Help stimulate those contractions. Big pushes, big pushes. Let's have some big pushes. Colors. Well, we need. You're doing great, Mama. Doing so great. This is number one. I feel like it is. Okay, Mama, you got this. You got this, okay? Eighty five. So she's gone up. She, everybody's gained two grams. That's impressive. Oh my gosh, that's so big. I'm going to make that smaller. I need other scissors. You're doing great, Mama. You're doing great. Thank you. 
already. I'm pretty sure this is number two. Let me look. Yeah. You prepare your color. Why do you all keep switching places on me? <laughs> okay, hold on. We're passing the time while we wait for the contractions. There. Now, it, no matter what number four is, we will know we'll start to know who's who. I think number one is latched again, so I'll wait. How are you doing? How are you doing? We're so close, Mama. We just need some big pushes from you. Okay. We just need some big pushes. Oh, so she's kitten pillow. Oh, good. That was impressive. She got them all out of the way. There we go. There we go. Yep, you can do it. Oh, you got it, Mama. You got it. Come on, come on, girl. Oh, such a good one. That was such a good one. Doing so great. Keep going. Oh, look, there's milk. She's squeezing milk out of her nipple. Do with this. It's like a waterfall right now. Oh my gosh. She's pushing so hard. She's squirting milk. I've never seen that happen before. Okay, Mama, you got this. You got this. No, don't go. Don't go back there, though. That's that's where you want to be right now. My goodness. You're doing great, Mama. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close. You're doing great. Do you need belly rubs? Good girl, you're doing so good. Yeah. All right, let's get this done. Let's get it done. Let's finish it right here. Yeah. Come on, girl, you got this. You got this. Okay, come on. Oh, so close. I know it's so hard. One more time. Oh, come on, we've got it. Come on. Oh, you got it, you got it. Yep, that's right, you can get up and move around as well. Thank you. 
up so close. Oh, there we go. We've got a kitten. We have a kitten out. All right. Good job, Mama. You did it. You did it. All right. Let me help. You let me help you. You can start with your stuff over there. I will work on some air flow. There we go. Go in right there a little while. Baby did it. Okay. I know you. She's got to push out the placenta now. I'm just gonna help get the kitten breathing and get some circulation. Look at those ears. Oh my goodness, that's a big ear. We have kitten bigger. I don't know if we have breathing music, but we have. Okay, not quite. There we go, we've got some little, little breaths. Color is a little bit dull again, but there is vigorousness in this kitten. I think we might have a little mini mama also. We might have our, our first gray kitten. There we go. Little gasps. Let's keep it coming. You've got goo all over you. There we go. Now we've got some regular breathing. There you go, yep. He's snort. Oh no, no, did you get the hoss? There's one in front of her over here. Oh my goodness. Good job. Good job, you guys. I'm so proud of all of you. Where's our color? Give me some color. You probably can't see on the camera, but like if you look at the toes and the little nose and mouth. We got a little more circulation, but it's getting there. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting some color. We've got circulation. Now she just has to, she still has to push out the placenta. So she's going to have a few more contractions. But I'll, and I'll, once she's done with this part, I'll give her a little feel and see if there are any more kittens inside. Um, I think she would have gotten this one going eventually, um, but there's always a risk if, if you, if you wait and they're not getting oxygen, the longer you wait, the more of a risk of, of organ damage and issues. So I don't like to wait because of my aforementioned over anxiety about 
giving birth. <clears throat> so we have four out and looking pretty good. Let's put your collar on while we're waiting. Number one is back at the milk bar, which is wonderful. Just confirming that you're who I think you are. Kind of have this. There we go. This is number three. There, that's perfect. Yours is a little bit loose. I know. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Perfect size. All your little friends are over here. Whew, let's hope we're done. I haven't checked the palette of number four yet. I haven't checked gender or weight. Um, because the placenta still needs to be delivered. And so... So I can't... Um, do anything with the kitten until we have the placenta out and the umbilical cord cut. Does the purse start me again? Four is looking like a, one like a bigger kitten and uh, quite vigorous now. Color is improving. So that's excellent. And I think number four might be dilute like mama. That's what I think. It's hard to tell when they're wet, but that is what I'm guessing. So that would be nice to have one little mini me. Already looking for the milk bar. And number one has gotten quite good at getting a latch. So. Very impressive work all around. Yes, the kitten is still attached to the placenta by the cord. So we have to wait for the placenta to come out. And then wait for her to cut the cord. And then the kitten will be free range. Everybody take a little breath. Okay, number uh, number one is going to get this collar. Number two is pink. Number three is blue. And number four... Uh, I was going to make orange, but A, I've lost the orange collar. It's probably stuck to me somewhere. Oh, there it is. But I guess we should have a green collar. What color is going to look the best on a, on a gray floof? Look at that. That's impressive. We're going for the milk bar while we're still tethered. Do you want me to help you? I mean, we know there's milk in there. You can go for the one your sister's on. Here, look. It's right here. There you go. And that's I think that's the first time we've had a kitten. Oh, she's not quite latched, or he. Not quite. There you go. You got a little bit more. Here. Here you're so close. There you go. Oh, we've got placenta starting to emerge. I 
think it's the first time we had even a tiny little latch there for a second with and we're having wappy paws while the placenta is still inside the mama oh you're gonna be a good one aren't you there you go latched that's the fastest latch i think we've had in our history <laughs> that's an impressive kitten <laughs> New record, everybody. <laughs> you guys, you can't really see, I don't think, but so we've got one and four latched right now. I guess that does earn a green collar. <laughs> I just feel like this is a dark, such a dark green. Maybe I have a better green. Out there somewhere. Placenta is not quite out yet. It's taken her some big contractions to get the other placentas out because they're quite, you know, chewy. They've got some heft to them. Cute. I don't go that way. Oh, there's a placenta, not even a big push. Oh, let's hope we're done, everybody. Do you want me to handle that for you? I can cut it. You can have it on. Oh, here is that look. Little toesies in the way there. Yeah, here you go. Okay. She likes to start with the placenta end. Let's keep our toes out of the way. Oh my goodness. Everybody's. Gonna get to share in this placenta. If she did the cord first, then I can handle the placenta for her. She's getting closer to the cord. Oh, there we go. You did it. You guys are missing all the action. The placenta action from this camera angle. All right, kitten number four is free, but is also latched. So I'm just going to see if I can... Check gender. I think we've got another girl. Little mini me. Okay, mama, good job. That's a that's good. You did that's a good that's enough. You did good. Do you want me to help you with that? And the purring. Are we done? Can we be done now? You're doing so good. Let's just tuck that. 
under there so that you can forget about it. So I'm guessing we have a good pallet there or we'd be having some milk in the nose, some trouble latching, unless it was a small cleft. But I will double check, but if she's latched, I am happy. Now, let's see, what will we put you guys on? It's clean. I guess I'll wait and see till I can actually feel if there appears to be anything else in there that wants to come out. Anything else that wants to be born today. But we might be done. Cleft palates are probably one of the most common congenital defect in a cat. You did so good and I'm so proud of you. Look at you. You look like you're proud. Oh, you did so good. You did so good. You did so good. I'm very proud of you. You look very tired. These are good little latters. No, I'm not going to get an accurate birth weight. It's a good problem to have, I guess. <laughs> I think we're asleep anyway. You want to get in there? I think Mama's going to get more comfortable in a second. So first for this litter, um, milk shooting out of the nipple during contractions. Oh there, we're off. And we're off. Perfect. I will take this. Oh my goodness. We're tangled. Tangled in the fluff. 101. Very good. You just made it. And girl. And perfect palette. There you go, get back in there. Get back in there. Okay. Yay. You're doing so great. If you lay down a little flatter, I can feel if there's anyone else and then I can change your blankets. And offer you a delicious snack. I might need to revise the uh, umbilical situation there a little bit.
because it's a bit long. It's going to get in the way. Mama's going to be trying to deal with it. Yeah. There we go. And now I just about got it. into bits. Ooh, it's stuck to my finger. All right. There, now we will hopefully not have as much fleeing of the placenta. All right, let's see if I can just move these guys a little bit this way and just reposition her slightly. And I can I think we're good, everybody. I think that's it. I think you might be done. How exciting is that? You did it. That's so great. I'm so proud of you. Now, before you get too comfy, let's get you some clean, a clean blanket and some snacks. I'll give you a snack first, okay? I want to get you a clean, some clean blankets. <clears throat> Yes. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll just do it. 
only three layers. I'm going to wait till you're done with your snack and then we'll do a little. When you're done with your snack, you did so good. You did so good. I'm going to let you get so cozy and comfy. Do you want any more snack? Oh, there's kittens are getting a food shower. This is my number one collar. I think number one is sleeping. There we go. escaping. <sighs> I know you guys can't see from this angle very well, but I'm going to get it sorted out shortly. <laughs> <laughs> 